Hi, and welcome to day 12 of Figuary. The idea is that you watch the daily guidance video here at Love Life Drawing, and then go to the Crocky Cafe channel and do their daily practice session. So we've looked at seeing and drawing the shadow shapes, and today we're gonna to talk about different ways to fill them with tone, ways to shade. The approach we often suggest is hatching like this, but we've noticed a lot of people like to use smudging too. And smudging is excellent and powerful, especially with a pliable material like charcoal. It can achieve nuance gradation, it allows you to move things around, and also smooths away mess and problems with the marks on the paper. Really great artists like Frank Gambino, for example, use it to amazing effect. But for those same reasons, those same advantages that smudging has, means that we're not sure it's always a good idea for people learning the basics of drawing to do that. Because it's so powerful, it can mean that you come to depend on it, and then you don't learn to make good marks on the paper. If you have to hatch, you're gonna build up your muscle memory, applying all those lines, and your lines will eventually become more confident. It's another case of the harder road paying off more in terms of learning. But just to clarify, it's not that smudging is easier or inferior to hatching. They're just different. And we think that hatching teaches you more lessons. It makes you learn about applying lines better in the early stages of learning. Just before we continue, a reminder to post your drawings to the hashtag figuary. We'd love to see them. Also follow us on Instagram. It's at Kenzo and Mako. Crocky Cafe now have an account there too. So to get started, try defining the shape just like we talked about, and then filling with even parallel hatching like Chris Glib here. And you can also try hatching that in a simple way roughly follows the contours of the figure like this hatching from Raphael. Then there's all sorts of other great ways that you can put down areas of tone in your drawing. You can create areas of tone by applying the side of a stick of charcoal or chalk or something like that, like Mako's demonstrating here. Or like in these examples by Richard McDonald. Then there's also stuff like stippling or scribbling and all sorts of different types of hatching. And that's before we even start talking about brushes and painting. So guys, keep in mind that hatching is a motor skill. It needs muscle memory and all that kind of stuff takes time to develop. So if you don't get it at first or you feel frustrated, that's normal. But as with all things in drawing or a lot of things in drawing, the people that persevere get rewarded. So try it out if you like uh, during the practice today. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you tomorrow.